they tripping on the length of my TikTok video, so I'm going to try to make it simple. Every Everything everything uh, is cycles within cycles. Everything is spheres within spheres. Everything is circles within circles, right? No matter what you do, you can't run from it. You got the Big Bang Theory where you have the uh, let there be light, or you want to call it many different things, the word, different things like that. You know that everything comes from light tone sound frequency of vibration right vibration is things that os- it oscillates in a circle right you're talking about hertz or you're talking about frequency or different different measurements of of modes or rates of vibrations that creates certain movements and these different movement of directions create certain energy combinations and things like that spheres within spheres still a spiral sphere same thing they just don't sh- that's not a real image but that's that's what they get so you got etheric gases you got dust particles uh you know, dark matter, many other things that aggregate to a central point off of a tone and vibration frequency. And from there, it, uh, you know, this accumulation actually cr- creates three sets of three. Or are you talking about this, uh, this nine, this nine, uh, energy or this nine, uh, cycle. And then from this nine cycle, you have the creation of a sun through, um, the conversion of hydrogen to helium and this conversion of or of of subatomic particles from then uh from hydrogen to helium you have uh the birth of a sun right now we in the center of a bullseye we in the center of the torus or the torus field too these are just fields we're talking about more spirals more spheres of energy right more oscillations or vibrations of energy or frequency just in different rates of modes and vibrations uh, on a scale uh, I'm gonna show you the scale in a second, but I want you to understand the scale is not is gonna be based off of 360 degrees, uh, another 360 degrees, more 360 degrees. You know what I'm saying? Depending upon that shape of the 360 degree object. In this case, we're talking about the circle and the square, which gives you physical and spiritual space. But remember, everything is spiraling. Everything has even your angles have curves. So what we're talking about is how the the universe it has like shells around it, or it has like. Um, these spheres or these or these cycles of energy right as above so below on in every aspect and then you have poles or you have polarity you have the you have two of the opposite poles of north and south which is also has a balance point or a center point and we talked about this before in this case the center point would be mount maru as you see right there which is like heru which is like horus which is like horizon which is also dealing with or mayat which is dealing with balance and these different things like that so imagine something like this, but twirled up, right? Kind of like that picture on the right, right there, right? So imagine the DNA or imagine the elements or imagine the uh, different frequencies being twirled up like this, but being in an even larger field than this one, because this is only matter. You will have an even larger field than this, like electromagnetic and other fields that go even beyond these fields, right? Just very vast, bigger fields. You got your electromagnetic field, torus field, aura field, you're talking about electricity and magnetism that creates a field around you. We understand that magnetism always converts, you know, can move the electrical uh, energy uh, and radiate it in different places. But electricity runs straight through your center, through you, and throughout your body. You want me to be honest with you? Think of it kind of like a current of a magnet, but more of a, a three-dimensional or a four-dimensional or multi-dimensional currents that flow and and kind of wrap the reality where they lace the reality like the dna is the electromagnetic field just in that understanding will lead you to understand how everything is on a scale vibrationally and frequency and we talk about the rate of and mode of vibration so let me show you that real quick so yeah you got your electromagnetic spectrum right and you understand the visible spectrum what we can see with our eyes is that there's a short little range right here and you understand that this through this color spectrum that we see all seven colors we understand that there is a vast amount of uh high uh color ranges or heat ranges we should say heat we're dealing with vibration we're dealing with heat as well you're dealing with how something if it oscillates faster faster it creates more heat so in this same sense you will see as the scale goes up it increases in heat but it also increases increases in frequency so as you see things go from radio to microwave to infrared to visible to spec to ultraviolet x-ray to gamma ray and you see how you have a radio you have a phone a microwave you have a uh, remote control the visible eye sunglasses 
uh, x-ray uh, machine and then you have something like gamma radiation which is something you can produce when you're talking about the the uh, the etheric e- energies that are are starting to decay and just pr- producing this beta decay so this is the spectrum or this is the what we call the scales and the scale is what you are made up of when you're talking about in terms of this vibration or this mode of frequency so you have these various degrees of rates of vibration right and you seeing it in a flat on a left to right screen but really you would see it more like a circle like when you talk about 360 degrees and more and other degrees on top of that right just depending upon what scales we're talking about because with action comes movement right and so as you have this tone and these frequencies that are produced by the most high produced by the, uh and you have these forces that form formulate things like non ether gases and things like that you have to have movements inside of space time and if you have this movement it creates a reaction this reaction creates a, a, a another reaction this it creates a, a transformation or a death or internal change and that change creates uh into something back up basically Three basically from nine ether goes to six ether, then from six ether goes to three ether, and then back up into nine ether. So you're talking about how energy cycles uh, back in on itself in multi-dimensional realities. So just like the cosmic egg, the universe will have to be formed in a circle, sphere, spiral, or a you know that 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 sphere type of energy, right? And just that understanding that you know. The universe itself, uni, means one. Verse means many. So you're talking about how you take many, many energies or many, these many compositions of non-etheric energies, as well as you talking about the, these different tones and these different things like that, that bring everything together and to form one universe. So you, from the multiverse to the universe, talking about from dark matter, dark energy, and um or, or or dark matter to to convert dark energy into a physical how would I say it because I want to explain this right to com- convert uh you know that calmness into chaos and from that calmness into chaos you have that light that is created and when is when light is created then you have that hydrogen to helium conversion and this is how you create souls so you talking about you have a higher you have higher aspects that go beyond this creation but when you're talking about in terms of our our um emotional body you're talking about the creation from hydrogen to helium and this is this is he and this is the uh, uh the etheric uh version of the the soul because you have the you have the soul that comes down into the physical body right and you have the the higher versions of the souls, and then you have, you know, the collection of energy that go beyond even that. So, but but we'll get into that in another in another to- topic. Okay, but yeah. So that's like even the golden ratio itself. Remember, everything in existence works off of this spiral. So even like the golden ratio itself, you have that same spiraling movement. You feel what I'm saying? They they say off of 1.618, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But in actuality, you're talking about the everything in the universe has to oscillate. It has to have a frequency or vibration. And that being said, if everything is created from tones, frequency, light, and vibrations, then there has to be a degree that it spins at. It has to be a rate of, of motion that it is spinning or it's vibrating or it's oscillating. 